Hey, good morning everybody. One of the things we decided to start doing here at Soldier Fit is Testimonial Tuesday, Throwback Thursday, however you want to look at it. But what's important to me is that Soldier Fit has evolved to become so much more than just about the company that Dave and I started a few years ago. We're on our march towards our 10 years and now Soldier Fit has become everybody's. That's why we call it our company. So what we want to start doing is sitting down with the people that make the company great, you, the troops, and the cadre, and letting them have a conversation and tell us their story about why they part of Soldier Fit and why they got started in the first place. So with that being said, let everybody out there that's going to watch and know who you are and why did you decide to come into Soldier Fit for the first time. Uh, my name is Megan Hartman. I'm a Frederick resident. I've lived here for all my life. And um, I came to Soldier Fit because I was looking for something different. I had been an endurance runner and cyclist and swimmer, and um, I just needed a change. And I knew a lot of people who came here. I heard great things and came for a, an introductory class and loved it. What type of endurance running did you do? Um, I run everything up to marathon. Why? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Did That's you read question. the story of marathon? <laughs> you know the guy dies at the end. Well, <laughs> if your toenails fall off or you have to wear, you know, areola tapes, to me, that's just just something that you it should tell you. The, I don't know. Maybe maybe you shouldn't partake in those activities. So you got tired of running until you about ready to die. But do you still do that? Is that something you still enjoy? I do. Um, I actually recently stopped running. I've I've gone full time to endurance cycling when I'm not here at Soldier Fit. Um, but it is something that I can still. With my friends. Are, are you a glutton for punishment? Is that the reason why you do the stuff yeah. that you do? I pretty much wake up every day and I'm thinking, how can I kill myself today? Yeah. You know, one of the things that I call it, I talk about this being people's fitness career. Because, you know, as a guy that used to be over, well, overweight and really out of shape, mm -hmm. um, you know, I always wanted to be able to play sports. I always wanted to be like the athletic guy. I'm still not athletic, but at least I, I can fit into reasonably sized clothes. <laughs> but when I talk about people's fitness career, it's like, Everybody would go do all of these things if they felt that they weren't going to die mm -hmm. after they did them. So what made you kind of say, hey, you know what, I'm going to start at the death things. <laughs> and then because we actually tend to see it happens the opposite, right? People mm -hmm. come in here, they get a foundation and they move on. Mm -hmm. You kind of already had a good foundation. So how yeah. did Soldier Fit play into that for you? Well, it's interesting. Um, I've actually had quite a bit of training in, in athletics and um, cardio and weight loss and things like that. And... Um, endurance cardio is a lot different than HIIT cardio, which is primarily what you're doing here at Soldier Fit. So even having run marathons and done triathlons, this is still an incredible challenge because it's different. Um, and I think that's really what, um, what I loved most about it is every single class is different and I was seeing results a lot faster. So, you know, once you've run and, and you've been running, the results are slower and slower, if if not even reverse. I actually gained weight training for marathons. Um, so here, you know, it was something that I could come in. Um, it was prescribed. It was intense. It was an hour, and it worked. And one of the things that I like that you talked about is some people, you know, people will look at me all the time and go, "Hey, is Soldier Fit the best workout you can do?" And I say, "No. <laughs> the best workout you can do is the workout that you will do." Um, but what a lot of people think is that when you come into Soldier Fit that we expect this to be the only thing that you do. And for some people that happens to be the case. Mm -hmm. But for other people, you, you alluded to it. You have uh, other things that you get involved in outside of this. How do you kind of try to balance both of those? Well, um, I actually try to do two workouts a day, um, which is not certainly not something everybody can do and not something that I started out doing. It's just something that I need to do. Um, so really I look at my week and um, I try to incorporate rest days and I try to incorporate different things that I need like yoga and lifting and then I have one or two days that are endurance focused so that I don't lose any of that capacity. And one of the things we strive, you know, we take a ton of pride in, about being here at Soldier Fit is being more than just a workout. Um, is there any aspect of that that you've taken part in a company, whether it's been the community uh, outreach stuff or is there any part of that that speaks to you? Definitely. Um, I, you actually probably don't know this, but I had a cousin um, pass away recently of a heroin overdose. So the things that you're doing in the community with, with the heroin epidemic are very near and dear to my heart. Um, I love coming here and seeing the blood drives. Um, and really, you know, I know that um, you and, and the whole staff here use the word family. And it does feel like that. You get to know the people that you're working out with, that show up to the same class as you do. Um, I've got a handful of people that I'll text and say, hey, you want to do boot camp tonight? Or what does your schedule look like today? 
Um, I can always be seen here with a friend, and if I can't find somebody who's already a member, I'm going to drag along somebody who isn't a member and have, make them try it out. So if you had somebody that's out there that's watching us for the first time, it's like, ah, you know what? It sounds great. It sounds awesome. But you were already a marathon runner before you started. You were already, you know, just super badass. I'm a little worried about it. What would you tell that person that you're trying to drag in for the first time? Here's what I say is, you know, when I started coming here um, probably about six months ago, um, I was obese to, uh, in every sense of the word. Um, so, you know, everybody can do this, every shape, every size. Um, and you're so busy doing the workout and the instructors are so good that you don't have time to look at anybody else. And I find comfort in the fact that nobody else has time to look at me either. Like I'm doing my thing and they're doing their thing. And quite frankly, if you have time to worry about anybody else on that turf, you're not working hard enough. So it, there's, it's a fitness level. Everybody can do it. There's modifications for everything. Um, and if there isn't a modification, they will find something productive for you to do. If you just say, hey, look, I can't do that. And I know I've been in here with injuries and I can't do X, Y, Z. And it's still a great workout. Well, now, in closing, I just got to ask you the question that I think is weighing on a lot of people's minds. Mm -hmm. Why are you not training and becoming a trainer? Yeah, <laughs> we would call them black hats. Yeah, um, it's crossed my mind, but um, maybe just life. You know, I've got two kids and a full time job, and I also coach swimming. So you know, you I, can swim too. I can swim. I, I swim like swimming. a mud cat right to the bottom. I drown out, so water's not my thing. Okay, so we gotta get you in the pool. No, nah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> so you're gonna at least consider it for me, right? Sure. Awesome. We well, appreciate you coming in, taking time to share your story and be part of it. Hey guys, listen, the most important thing for you to understand is this. We're not here about who can be the biggest, fastest, strongest. If you outran me to the corner, congratulations, your ass is tired first. We're here about making a difference in our community and making a difference in each other's lives. If you're interested in finding out just why Soldier Fit is so much more than a workout, please feel free to swing by any of our locations and we're continuously adding them as we go and check it out for yourself. Again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you at the fort.